Look at that. Inside the old church. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, Grave Visitations here. So I'm in County Loud. And we're in Drum Isken Monastery here. And old ruins. And before we go in, I just want to show you this. So this is some form of a information center here a small little thing and it says select channels or whatever and twist this for information but it doesn't seem to work please turn me till the message plays <laughs> you've turned it for a while I think he could be turning forever. So what we're going to see here is the round tower. Um, the ruins of the old church. Some Celtic crosses and stuff. Look at this photograph of the young boy standing beside a big cross. I think that was the top of that one. And maybe it's the top of that, yeah. And he's standing there. A very, very old picture. So let's go inside. Um and see what's in here to look at. Beautiful looking place. Looks like it's well maintained. And we have the round tower. Not quite sure how old that is. They're usually around 12 to 13th century that those round towers. Looks like Church of Ireland here, a rune. But as you come in, there's one here that I have to show you. This is stunning looking, this headstone here. And I'm going to try and get you as close as I can to show you the back of it first. So this is what it looks like. Very, very unusual. So we have a man here with like a bat, baton or a stick in his hand, um, a crest in the middle. Then we have another guy over this side who's holding a stick in his hand. So they both have their hands on the crest. Now if anybody knows what that represents, let me know in the comments below. I haven't seen that before. Now on the other side of the headstone here, some more fine stonework and carvings on this. Up the top here, like an angel face on it. Um, just around here then we'll show you here. More angels there. Now this part is interesting. We have an angel with a spear slaying a dragon or slaying the beast now we have seen stuff before of archangel michael where he slays the beast so on this one it does look like he's slaying so maybe it is depicting archangel michael slaying that dragon look at that the wings and the dragon. More angels and that. So I'm going to try and read what it says on it. Um, we have an angel here with a crown, it looks like, in his hand. Super detail on that. So it says, erected by James Duffy of Drum Isken in memory of his father, Michael Duffy, who departed this life the 12th of February, um, 17, I think, 1797, aged 89 years old. So that is very, very interesting. Old headstone. This is the round tower. So we can see just up in the middle part of it there would have been. 
the area where they would have escaped into the tower, the monks, and had a ladder to get up there away from the enemy. This is erected by John Rankin of Richmond, America. In memory of his beloved father, James Rankin, who departed this life February the 24th, 1865, age 69. So that's interesting inscription there. John Rankin of Richmond, America. So if there's anybody watching the Rankins from the United States, you might find a connection there. So I do get a lot of people asking, do I find certain surnames and graves? Apparently the monks, um, the monks that were living here, they were attacked here um, by the Danes and the Irish themselves. And uh, they had to move from here to a different abbey in County Loud. Two or three times, I think, they were attacked. So, I can see why they moved. They got fed up of people coming in, trying to steal their goods. And probably said, let's get out of here. Now, this is the old church. So, we'll have a look in the window. See, wow, look at that, inside the old church, and uh, sometimes people ask about the roofs of churches, look at that, there's still pigeons nesting in there, so people ask about the roofs on churches, how come they're not on them anymore, and a lot of times it's for tax purposes. So they don't have to pay tax on the building when there's no roof. So it's surprising to see that the roof is still left on this one. But they have blocked it up with the bars and the windows and the doors are cemented up there as well. Very, very interesting to see it inside. Beautiful. Of. It's beautiful. You see that red brick inside. And just to the right there would have been one of the side entrances into the church that's also blocked up. Well, it's lovely to see history and stuff like that. And it's still part. It's still part of the old, um, the area here in Loud. I'm just trying to look in this window, this side. So that's where I was over there. Um, you can just see the roof a bit closer there. I don't want to get too close because my phone falls in there. I ain't getting it back. That is for sure. So it's basically just the same there. We can see the other end of the church. Wow, look at that. All those pigeons are going crazy in there. So it says, um, you can hear those crows there, erected by Patrick Kelly in memory of John Kelly of Dromiskin, who departed this life 21st, or the 24th, June the 24th, 1808, and we have an 1800 maybe there, age 58. But look at down here, we can see more of these cherubs designs on them there. Oh, it's just outside the and It's just left there, up against the wall, yeah. So I wonder, was that inside? Or near the area of the church? So there's another piece of stone here, so sometimes they do be part of the, of the um, church. So up there then we can see a plaque 
over the church entrance AD 1821 and it's very hard to read the rest of it it's covered in moss and you can see there's birds and crows and all up there on top of the bell tower flying around and this is just inside this would have been the main entrance into the church bit of graffiti going on so I'll look up this way and show you that's the bell tower goes straight up there you can see actually maybe if I zoom in you can see kind of the old um, about there old piping work is still there and the drain drain pipe maybe you can still see Yeah, over there. Yeah. Don't know. Was it an old fireplace or something as you come in? See you coming in though. Maybe as people enter to go to service, church service here, when they enter, the fire would be lighting, you know, okay. in the winter time. It was all, all the go back then, I suppose. You'd have to bring the coal. You'd have to bring the coal and light the fire. The priest to be there and all the people would come in. If only walls could talk. The history that's there. So over there then we have a newer area. That's the cemetery area there. They're all newer graves. So we'll just concentrate on the... On the... Um, there's a nice view there now of the church and the tower. The older graves here. Maybe I'll go this path. And that's the, that church is definitely older than the one we looked at. The old church ruin here. Now it looks like the area here has been met into a vault that there was someone buried there. The gate is opened. And we can see here those iron rings. There's four of them there all together. There's one missing. And someone has left some flowers there, artificial ones. So the person or the family that are buried in this area here, it is a vaulted area. Um, you can kind of see from there as well there is no name or inscription so I'm not quite sure who's buried there lovely grave here erected by Owen um, it's hard to see the son Kinnahan and 1800s is on that Now, the Celtic cross that I saw the little boy on the picture, I'm just wondering where that is around here. I wonder if it's or where the photo was taken. Put it back up. So we have the Celtic cross. But the top does look like it's missing yeah. off of there. And look, at it looks like it has been joined back. See it? Oh, it is joined, yeah. Yeah, so it was that. You can see where it's joined there, yeah. So was that the cross? I think so. Where the yeah. little boy was in the yeah, photograph. Yeah. I wonder where it was taken the photograph. I like I to match know. up stuff. It's very hard it's to know. Him and the, the thing. Um, the cross. It's very hard to read that now. If you stand in the shadow. Yeah. See it now. So it says um the this, cr this cross for generations. Um, formally is it? I don't know, it's very hard to read. This of spot. Memorial. A memorial. To, and then I can't read anymore. Um, it says there about Dromiskin as well. What's it's very faded. W, no. Members. Members of. Of the family of Lawless. 
So it's the lawless family. Something got to do with them. Um, Maybe the little boy was one of the family members. You can actually see it in the phone here when I'm looking. It says something about public works. So it must be commissioners, is it? Of the public works. Yeah. Yeah, it's so hard to read. It's hard. It's hard to read it, but I'm interested all the same. And it's interesting to see it because of the the photograph of the little boy. And I don't know when that was taken. That must be the 1800s or 1900s, Maybe, yeah. that photograph. A couple of stone... Markers there, no inscriptions around the area. There's a lot of those stone markers, unmarked graves. And uh, look at this. Wow, look at this, guys. The crucifixion scene, is it? Yeah. His hands are spread out, yeah. But look at the face on it. Really different looking, isn't it? Look at his ribs, You even. can see the ribs, yeah. Down to the feet. And there's like it's another person standing the, there, maybe. A little heart. A heart. And then there's something. So it's like the BW, is it? It looks like there's an OBW. Now that is old. Of course it is. And there is no inscription, is there? Or date. No. But stuff like that. People, Just you would miss that very quick. You know, you'd walk past it. You wouldn't really notice it. Wow. Maybe take the you see it better without the light, yeah. Strange looking but nice. Nice headstone. So we'll go back up. I'll go over this way here around the back before we finish up of the video. We'll show you a couple of bit headstones around here. So that's the back of the church ruin where the vault is. This looks like a grave here and there used to be a gateway at one time there or another. A couple of flowers in there. Tabletop tomb. Lost one of the legs. So it's still, still there. Didn't fall down yet. And they're very hard to read, those tabletop ones. The inscription on them are very hard. They're usually rectors, I think. Some of these. Um, who departed this life. The 25th of April. And there we can see something 50. I'd say it's 1850, 17 or 1850. The inscription has gone off it. Really old, 1799. Look at that, guys. Very, very old. So they have a beautiful area outside the graveyard there. Maintained. Place does look nice. It's nice to see. And we'll go back up this way where we started towards that beautiful church and that round tower. So I'm going to finish up here, guys, and wrap up here. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And hit the notification bell. So for me here in Dromiskan County Loud. This beautiful old graveyard here. I'll see you on the next adventure.